John Lydon, the man who once wore a t-shirt declaring his disdain for Pink Floyd, has always been a figure of defiance. His journey with the Sex Pistols was a snarl in the face of cultural discontent, a time when the polished virtuosos of music lost touch with the youth. Lydon, with his unapologetic honesty, chose infamy over fame, finding it a more genuine path. Because I wake up in the morning knowing I haven't lied to anyone, it's fantastic, he tells Far Out. Lydon's contempt for the commercial music trap is palpable. He scoffs at the notion that punk originated in New York, a claim he finds laughably false. Oh, go fuck yourselves! I was brought up in Britain, he retorts with characteristic bluntness. Instead, he credits a diverse array of British artists as the true influences behind the Sex Pistols sound. Yet, amidst his rejection of American punk's origin story, Lydon reveals a surprising admiration for one U.S. artist. I mean, one of my favorite American artists of all time will be Captain Beefheart, he declares, acknowledging the profound impact of Don Van Vliet's avant-garde approach to music. Lydon marvels at Captain Beefheart's ability to deconstruct music, comparing it to an inside-out building where all the pipes are on the outside, but the heart and soul is inside. He praises the album Trout Mask Replica for its shambolic exploration and Beefheart's lyrics as insanely entertaining. It's the anarchistic defiance of musical norms in Beefheart's work that resonates with Lydon, a kindred spirit in the art of rebellion.